Good morning, everybody. Today is, I don't even know what today is. Thursday, so I don't even know what we're gonna get into today. We're still getting so much rain and it's really dark outside. It's actually 10 o'clock in the morning and it's still really dark, I don't know if you can tell. But yesterday I did a video about my butcher box. I only got one box. I logged onto the website and it says that my box had shipped. It said it was delivered and I was missing like two thirds of my stuff. So I went and did like an inventory of everything I ordered because I ordered a ton and it was actually 47 uh. units and I had only received like 20. So I was freaking out. I emailed them and by the end of the day, Catherine from ButcherBox emailed me back and said that she sees that there's another box on its way and it should be here the next day, which was yesterday. So I couldn't see it from their website. So that's one of the things I don't like about them. Their website isn't the easiest to use. It doesn't show you that there's multiple shipments. It just said that my order had shipped and it was received. So one of them had received, but there's clearly another box at some point. So we went to the chiropractor yesterday. By the time we came home, the box is there and the box was crazy damaged and like a whole side of it was completely open. Miraculously, the meat was still frozen because they do ship with dry ice, but there was a couple items missing. I was missing, I think it was like three packs of hot dogs and one pack of ground pork. So I emailed Catherine back and she emailed me back in like 10 minutes. And I told her that, you know, I thank God everything was there. My turkeys were there. That was the one thing that I was really upset. I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna get my turkeys. I have my turkeys. So I emailed her and let her know I was missing those items. And she emailed me back in like 30 minutes and was like, here's a credit to your account, which is perfect. I don't need those right now. I had ordered so much meat to stock up before the holidays and Butcher Box does like, I think it was their anniversary, five years maybe. They do like member deals. So they'll do things like a bacon blast where you get like 10 packs of bacon for five bucks. And this is like nit nitrate free, sugar free, like on the more pricey spectrum anyway. I think their bacon runs six or $7 a pack when it's not on sale. So I look for those and I always get them because they're cheaper than buying, like adding onto my normal box. And they had things like, like griller packs, which is like hot dog sausages. And they're really cheap. So I've got so much stuff. So anyway, it came yesterday. My freezer is literally packed to the gills in the garage. We have a stand-up deep freeze. And where I'm getting to this is I literally could not fit a three pack of chicken breasts anywhere in that freezer. So I brought it inside and I was like, what can I make with chicken breasts besides grilling because it's raining? And in the process of jam packing my freezer, I unearthed a pack of mixed vegetables. I was like, I have not made just chicken fried rice super easy I have not made it in forever so that's what I'm gonna make tonight the chicken is out thawing and I might make a little bit more of the chicken and leave some out for this little guy and then put the rest in our dinner so that's what I'm gonna make for dinner it is now Thursday my sisters left on Monday but I still have not completely cleaned from them leaving I just been really lazy we went out yesterday to the chiropractor it's like an hour drive you're at the hour hour at the chiropractor and then drive an hour back and I'm just like exhausted so I didn't really do much yesterday so ready to get my day started what do you think I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking So I feel like the mess has basically just migrated from downstairs to upstairs I'm gonna put this away now, otherwise the guest room will stay like this for months, so Does anybody else do this? I have, I don't even know what you call this I think it's like a photo box I have a bunch of them This is like my all-purpose one I have one from the wedding, I have one for Paul, and I literally just shoved stuff in here that was like meaningful. So I just had recently, I'm not gonna show up, but my sister-in-law's, put it here, my sister-in-law's baby shower invite. So I just can't throw these things away. I don't know why. And then my birthday cards from this year. So I put them in this box, which is now exploding. So I don't know if I need another box, if there's a better way to organize these things, I have absolutely no idea. But I put them in this, it's essentially a shoe box. Pretty positive I got this at Michael's. And then I just keep this in my closet. I do go through them every once in a blue moon. I will say that. But yeah, I don't know if anybody has a better method for storing this stuff. Spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Get next to me, get next to me. All that I Having a 
place. Did you get all your toys out? Yeah. You're really good at getting your toys out. Look at your crazy hair today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay, so in absolutely no way is that perfect, but it's put away where I don't have to look at it. That was basically all the bedding from the air mattress and I swear Matt said he got the air mattress from this closet. I have no idea where it was, so I just kind of shoved it there. I'm pretty sure it was not there before. So, at least it's put away. So I can check that off my to-do list. You getting so close? Yeah? You getting so close? Oh. What do you think? Yeah. You're gonna be crawling soon, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh my gosh, look at those push-ups. How many can you do? How many push-ups can you do? <laughs> so it is much later. I'm getting ready to make dinner now. Paul and I just got back for a walk. As you can see, it is dark outside. I still have not figured out this daylight savings time thing. We didn't even go far. We only went for like 20 minutes. Still, we were walking in the kind of dark. Anyway, I got a text from Matt while I was out that he's gonna be late. It is 5.30 now. I'm really hungry. So I was thinking instead of doing just the rice in my Instapot and then the rest of the fried rice on the stove, I think I'm gonna do it all in the Instapot, which is kind of weird, but the reason why I wanna do that is so that I can keep it warm for whenever Matt gets home. So that's my logic. So I'm going to do the rice like normal and I'm gonna put my chicken breast on top I'm going to shred them, which is weird for fried rice, I realize that. Take everything out, saute the onions, the egg, the vegetables, put my sauce in, put the rice in, put the chicken in, and call it dinner. That's my plan. So this is not a recipe, but I will put all the ingredients down below that I'm using. So how I do rice, and I may have extra, and that's okay, Matt is a riceaholic is I just use a pint mason jar and for the Instapot I do equal parts of dry rice and water and I don't rinse it or anything. You can add salt if you want to, but for this I'm gonna add coconut aminos, which is like soy sauce, later. So, and I'm also gonna give some of this to Paul so I'm not adding salt right now. So, a ginormous thing of white rice some water, and then I'm just putting my chicken breasts right on top. I think the rice setting is for 12 minutes, so I almost wish these were frozen, but that's okay. So then I'm just gonna put my lid on, make sure that's on ceiling, and I'm going to hit the rice button on my Instapot, which is 12 minutes, uh, oh, low pressure, did not realize that. So I will let that go, I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. Okay, so Matt actually texted me that he is on his way home. That's okay, I'm still doing it this way. But it's probably going to get loud in here when he gets home. So when this is done, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna add my onions, eggs, mixed vegetables, ginger, garlic, soy sauce, and some butter. Again, I'll leave everything below, but just so you know what I'm doing in case I mute the mic.
Thank you.